Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And as promised, I'm back with some happy mail and also with an update on Racks of Love. So y'all know I had 30 as my goal for this month and I have until the end of February to complete them. So I'll tell you where I'm at. I think I'm up to 17, which I'm really happy about because it means I'm more than halfway, which surprised me because I wasn't sure I would catch up today. Um, but so far... I have managed to get the following people's racks of love done. I'm pretty excited about it. Tenille Paper Milkshake, Alicia Love Letter Generation, Soleil Enchanted by Craft, Linda, Susan Tessie Tucker's bestie, Ebony, otherwise known as uh, Sharing More, Susan Tussie Tucker, Don H, Leticia, Cruz, Susan Althouse, Miss Pat Sweeney, uh, Betty Waldeck, Miss Bertha Blessed Wilson, Lisa Farron, and I think that's it. So I am halfway there, folks, which is pretty impressive because some of them is, you, you know, you haven't seen um, all of the racks of love yet. Some are small, some are bigger, but they take die cutting work, lots of other things. And I'm doing it while working on the die cutting challenge and getting the rest of the challenge packages out. So I'm really pleased with my progress. I think as long as I keep up this schedule, I'm going to be able to make it. But that's my goal. 30 by the end of the month. Fingers crossed. There's lots of people I have not yet done. So, but I'm getting there bit by bit. I do love this idea of die cutting and giving people different paper and different dyes and supplies. And in fact, in talking about the die cutting swap with my partner, we were really excited because she has dyes I don't have. I have dyes she doesn't have. And it's going to be amazing. So I'm super excited to get her package. I've worked really hard on her package. It's only half done. Uh, because I'm actually investing quite a bit of time into it, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but without further ado, folks, we have some beautiful Happy Meal. And this comes from Bertha Blessed Wilson. And I could not believe it when I opened this package, guys. I just took everything out to show you. And look how beautiful. First of all, it's a loaded envelope from Miss Bertha. And it says, all is calm, all is bright. And she's lined the envelope. She has glittered it up. Oh, there's a beautiful doily die cut in the back. I was so excited to get this. It really was. And I love this. Oh, look. Look at the dimensional butterfly. And it says, hello, gorgeous. And it has this beautiful trim on the bottom. And I love how you, you backed it in black and the butterflies match the flag butterflies. And you made this dimensional. And it's a card for me to use and it's so beautiful um, and this is hello gorgeous so this is perfect because I have so many racks of love going out and I realize I need to pre make some cards in my stash I may not choose to make other things you know in advance because I love to make for people but these cards are gonna come in so handy so thank you so much miss Bertha I really appreciate it but I'm excited that you made a loaded envelope Oh my gosh, guys, look, it's perfect for my bookmaking. It's this like vintage teeny little envelope. And I'm using so many of these right now because I'm making up some kits for people. So this is super handy. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you. It's really pretty. This is actually perfect. Bertha. You have no idea. I love these little, I love these little things where we wrap all of our special twine. And this is great book. This is great book binding twine for these new books I'm making. And I don't have this color. This is like a really beautiful cobalt blue. It's gorgeous and I don't have this. So I'm putting this on the side so I know exactly where it is. Everything has to go back in my drawers today, folks. Um, wow, you got a lot into this envelope. And then she made me look at this diamond. Look how dimensional it is. And it's this amazing snowman and it's layered up and she has hand colored it in. It's so pretty, guys. And layer it up on Christmas paper. It's really a beautiful tag. And I love how dimensional you made this. You got a lot into this little level. Oh, this is so great. It says, laughter, love. May your days be merry and bright. And look at all, again, the hand cut doily. And all the attention to detail you did on here. And you even built up all different pages with love. Look, it's mixed media. Take a look, folks. Oh, it's beautiful. This is beautiful and thicked up. It's really beautiful and laughter. Oh, I'm gonna put that into my visual diary. I loved it. Oh, 
So look, this envelope is so well constructed, guys. I'm really impressed because you all know, you know, I struggle with this size envelope. So when I get something like this, I'm like, this is well constructed. And that, that just makes me really excited. And then she sent me this beautiful embossed paper. Look at this. And what's interesting is that I'm working on things and I don't have a lot of red because you know, I don't, I don't use a lot of red. So I'm, and this is super handy right now for reasons I'm not going to go into Bertha. But again, I need to put it to the side where I know where I need to put it so that tomorrow after work, after I have a little rest and I come back and I continue working on these packages. But folks, look at this beauty. I mean, you can make a rosette. You can really make a rosette. I hate to ruin your packaging, but I think to see it, we have to. I, I feel so sad when I ruin packaging, but I think I did it. Look, with that beautiful bow, I think I did it without ruining it and I can save it. I actually reuse all these folks. So like if I can, I reuse it and look at that, I was able to. So that's amazing. And somebody's package that I'm working on, um, I actually needed a larger green bow because you all know I don't have big bows yet. Well, I, now I have the Alina big bow. That's a big bow. That's a really big bow. Um, it's funny, I die cut a bunch for my die cutting swap partner and I'm still not quite sure how to put it together. <gasps> Look at this guys, it says happy birthday. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's like a Memdex and it has a gold rosette and then a flower built up and then a mini rosette with a snowflake and then it's layered up with a doily and then another snowflake. Look how beautiful this Memdex is. And you made me a journal clip, which you know I love. And this one even has Baker's Twine on it. And this is Happy Birthday. This is gorgeous. This is really nicely designed, Bertha. I love it. This is a beautiful Memdex. Like, really well done. I really love it a lot. It's super dimensional, guys. I, you know, I love dimensional Memdexes. I just do. It, it's, I miss Bertha knows that. And this is so pretty. Look. So on this side, it's like, oh, a beautiful, you know, a little bit of rickrack and this lovely little like built up stamp of a tree. Sorry, that's my husband snoring. Can you imagine? But look at this side. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's like three dimensional presents and flowers and a wreath with more rickrack and a tree behind it. Ah, oh, so much fun in a package. Look what I see. Oh my gosh, it's a, okay, I'm so excited, I'm sorry. All right, I have to open this right away. I love this stuff, you guys know this. You know, I know it seems like, I always say this, like I love big clips from my journals, I love all clips from my journals. So when I get something like this, I'm like, oh yes, please. Isn't it not beautiful? Oh, this is so going. You know what, I might actually put this one in my craft one. So it's a giant fabric flower. It's super pretty. And it has this lovely purple jemmy in the middle. I don't know where you get a jemmy that big. I never find them that big. But it's beautiful on this giant pink paper clip. This is going in my craft journal. I'm so excited. That was amazing. And as if that wasn't enough. Oh no. Oh no. She's not done yet. Miss Bertha Hassan. Check it out. A pocket letter. And folks, it's a beaut. Wait till you see it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love getting pocket letters. Oh, wow. Your kindness warms my heart. Do you see this? Okay, so this is stunning. Just take a minute to appreciate it because it, I'm sorry about the glare. Let's get even closer. Because what I love is that each pocket she has put so much care in. This first one says holiday cheer as a jemmy. It has a three-dimensional polar bear and a little igloo with a tree. The next one is spectacular. I don't know if you can appreciate it on my camera, but it's this glitter flower built up one, two, three, four, five times. And then she's extended it out with jemmies. And it matched the blue jemmies from the glitter paper. Then over here we have like a cascade of trees with presents and a little stocking and snowflakes. And then the next row is wishing you... Wishing you warmth this Christmas, and it's so beautiful. It's got a snowman vintage on the, the sort of argyle paper. In the middle, we have a shaker pocket. Wow, and it's so pretty, guys. She, 
Miss Bertha um, punched out all these like beautiful little vintage style snowflakes and then mixed them with holographic ones. And then the next one has like these glittery reindeer and a little snowman, which I love. And then the bottom has a snowman with two of the candy canes and the candies. And then this is wrapped like a present with a pearl. And then of course, completely made sure that the side is done on this beautiful trim. And I love this idea, Bertha, with the little bows. I hadn't thought to do that, and I love it. And she finished each piece, guys, with those perfect round, you know, like centers, the reinforcers, and it looks so pretty. And she did them in an age gold. I know my camera, you can't see that, but they're an age gold. And then look at all the goodies in the back. There's like a sequins mix. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got like all different iterations of green and teal. And then here we have Flourish. Oh, and some of the little tree background pieces. And the snowman. But you know what pocket I'm going for. You know already. You know. Because what do I love? Handmade ephemera. And you all know that. So I am so excited that you did this for me. <gasps> Look at this coffee cup, guys. And it's like all glittered up. Oh my gosh, that is so going in my visual diary. I love it. Look how she glittered it up. Oh, this is so much fun. And it's a little mason jar tag flip. Did you draw this? Oh, guys, this is going in my visual diary. Look how beautiful. I don't think that's stamped, folks. A lot of that is hand drawn. And again, it's all glittered up. And these are all the little, the tiny little flowers in the green. But this is just beautiful. And then we have a snowman built out. Oh, yes, we do with little jemmies. Oh, I love this. This one's super thicked up. This is like a super, this is like chipboard thick tag. Oh, but you know what? This one and this one and this one is going in my visual diary. Oh, yeah. I cannot believe you did all this. Pocket letters are so much work. I love doing them. They're wolves into themselves, but I need a ton of time because I'm so slow. Like, if you guys could see me working on these racks of love, you'd be like, whoa, it takes her so long. Do you know today I die cut for like five hours? And I told you after an hour, my arm hurts. So I had to take so many breaks, but I got it done. And look, she, Miss Bertha cut for me like all of, you know, like the waves for writing in expressions and stamping. That was really thoughtful. That was extremely thoughtful. It's a lot of work to die cut this out. And I really appreciate that. Because I'm working on all of these packages of, you know, for Rex 11 We Wishes, and I need those. And so it, that saves me a ton of work to have those cut out. Thank you. Oh, and down here, she has given me all sorts of goodies. I've got, oh, I don't want to pull them out too much. I want to be careful. Because, Miss Bertha, I don't want to lose them. But I do want to share it with everybody. Let's see if I can do it a different way. Because I don't want them to come loose. She has die cut for me all sorts of flowers that I have to pull out carefully and sort. But you know those little gold ones that I loved? Um, Miss Bertha die cut those. And then these wonderful book page ones that I'm loving. And then, oh wow, and in here we have, we have a Santa and a reindeer. And then we have some beautiful sequins. Those are like, um, they're like, they're like maple leaf sequins. This was so beautiful. I am really grateful to you. Thank you so much for making me a pocket letter. You know, guys, I put my pocket letters in binders. I love them. I keep them. I think they're really special. And then I don't know what's in here, but um, I'm excited because this is beautiful. You did such a beautiful job. I cannot wait to put this in my craft room. I cannot wait. Such big joys for me. Such big joys. Okay, so this says, let it snow to, oh, you put a little ribbon on this clip. Oh, I swear the, the teenagers that I tutor see, I have the little jars of clips and I keep them in there and I use them for all my journals and they're like so jealous. They pull them out. I'm like, don't touch those. Oh no. Oh no. But I let them look at them because they're really inspired by them. And they actually want me to teach them how to make some of this stuff, which I think is amazing. Hello, my crafty friend. Look at this card. And handmade. Look at, look at you. But this is beautiful, guys. First of all, look at the palette. Gorgeous palette. The purple and the purple. 
with these iridescent AB purple charms, which are just spectacular. And then it says hello in the die cut. And then it says my crafty friend. I love this card. Thank you. You warm my heart, Bert. This is an amazing card. This is, oh, I, I love it. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for brightening my day. Thank you for, you know what? Thank you for understanding that I really love, like all of these pieces mean a lot to me and they really do go into my visual diary. I love them. This is just beautiful work. Just beautiful. Gosh, you can make a rosette. I struggle with these. You do, oh, that's beautiful. And I love how you made it extra dimensional by building up a flower on top of that. You've just given me so many good ideas. But you know how much I was going to appreciate these. This one's super cute too, isn't it? Ah! Um, and I love the pocket letter. I love the loaded envelope, but I really love this. Folks, it, I know that you see Miss Bertha Blessed Wilson here every day. She does make videos, not all the time, but she does make videos. So I am going to link her channel for you down below. Please show her some crafty love and support. She has been here from the start. She's an incredible source of support, not just to me, but to everybody on here. Um, but look at this beautiful work. I mean, really beautiful. I, I don't even know what to say. So magnificent. I'm having a little bit of rosette envy. I mean, this is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, y'all, I think it's cleanup and bedtime for your girl. I'm up at 5 a.m. tomorrow for work. It's my early teaching day, and I usually get home at around 1, 1 1.30, and then I pass out for an hour or two because I'm exhausted. Um, and then I'll be back on. I'll be doing some more Racks of Love and We Wishes and some videos and catching up on your comments. I hope whatever you do tomorrow, it's something that gives you a lot of joy. And if, like me, you're working, I hope your day is super fast. Because tomorrow is heart day, folks. Happy heart day, y'all. Happy heart day.